This is the GNL Legacy Fullerton Stand. This guitar features a Caribbean rosewood for a fretboard, um, rock maple for its neck, standard GNL tuners, medium jumbo frets, nine and a half inch radius fret radius. The neck has a satin finish, so it's not like the, um, the rest of the guitars, like you know, which has a vintage gloss. The color of this guitar is ruby red, and the body is made of elder. Um, this color. Reminds me of my uh, music man Luke, you know, same um, kind of feel to it, you know. In any case, it also features the dual fulcrum uh, tremolo system, one of the f more of my favorite because I, I, I think I think this is the best tremolo system I ever played. You know, seriously, it's, it's that good. And of course, it features the PTV tone control, volume, treble, bass, five-way switch. There's no other and other dip switch or anything like that. Just a standard five-way strat uh, switch. Uh, pickups are special. These are the MFD uh, and Eco Five pickups. Uh, they are very different from the MFD which was on the S Five Hundred. Uh, those MFD pickups are actually, if I'm not mistaken, they are made of ceramic. These are an Eco Fives, and they are very different in in character. Uh, this has the the typical Nico kind of strap pickups, you know, uh, a bit scoop in the mid. Whereas the ceramics have a, a, a sort of a bump on the on the mid, and I like the ceramics. I, I like how it sounds. Um, this one has the typical traditional uh, Stratocaster sound. If you're looking for one of those kind of sound uh, for your music, you know, this will suit you fine.
The pickups are really nice, I kind of like them. But the best part about them is that they are um, not so noisy. Uh, you know how single chord guitars are, they will attract all sorts of 60 cycle hums and stuff like that. But these are quite quiet, you know, I'm, I'm quite pleased with them because even with distortion and everything, they're relatively quiet. So the neck is a C-shape, modern vintage, easy to play. Um, I have no problem with it, there's those speed bumps. Uh, the only thing that I care to comment is that the width of the fretboard is kind of narrow so sometimes you can fret out easily that's the only gripe that I have with this guitar other than that, you know, it's okay I, mean, I kind of enjoy playing this guitar so the guitar weighs at 3.8 kg so it's not really light <laughs> it's okay I kind of like the feel of it and it doesn't feel like 3.8 anyway, I'm sitting down playing it so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to join this channel, feel free to go ahead. So I guess this will be the last of the GNL guitars that I'm going to be reviewing for the time being until the next one comes along. So till the next video, I'll see you around. You guys take care. Ciao.